This is an instructional guide to show the proper use of the tree spade. In order to use this machine correctly, you must first be aware of the controls. Let's take a look. Lever number one slides the tongue back and forth. Lever number two pivots the tree spade from side to side. Lever number three angles the bucket up and down. Lever number four lifts the tree spade up and down. Lever number five operates the rear passenger side spade. Lever number six operates the front passenger side spade. Lever number seven opens and closes the rear passenger side spade. Lever number eight opens and closes the rear driver side spade. Lever number nine operates the front driver side spade. Lever number 10 operates the rear driver side spade. Now that you are familiar with the controls, let's move on to the process of the tree removal. The first thing you should do is call your local utility company or Alberta One Call and have them come out and locate any underground cables. Next, be sure to remove the safety chains attached to your bucket. If you do not remove the safety chains, the tree spade will not be able to move from side to side. It is also important to remember to remove the safety chains on the tongue. If the safety chains are not removed, the tongue will not be able to slide all the way back and forth, which can damage the tree spade as well as your vehicle. Next, find an area where you want to place your tree and then lower your bucket to the ground. Once the bucket is firmly in place, begin sinking each spade into the ground. Be sure to drop the spades only one at a time while only going a few inches deep. Once all your spades are in the ground, slowly lift out your plug. Be sure to reattach your safety chains for transportation. Place your plug beside the tree you want to transplant so you can fill the hole you make from removing your tree. Once you have removed your plug, remember to open the rear spades so it will be easier to get your tree into the bucket. Back up your tree spade until you have completely surrounded your tree.
once you have surrounded your tree, lower your bucket onto the ground. And then close your rear spades around the tree. Just like you did with your plug, sink down each spade a few inches at a time until all the spades have been fully sunk into the ground. When all the spades are in the ground, slowly remove your tree. Once you have your tree out of the ground, be sure to reattach all the safety chains for transportation. Before you plant your tree, be sure to cut off any excess roots that may be sticking out from the tree spade. Remember to remove both sets of safety chains. And then lower your tree into the ground. Once your tree is in place, lift up the spades. Remember to open up your rear spades so you can drive away without getting caught on your tree. Be sure to close the spades, move the bucket to the front, and reattach all the safety chains until you are ready to transplant your next tree. By following these simple steps, you'll be able to efficiently operate the tree spade while keeping yourself safe and being able to prevent this from happening to you. This concludes our operating tutorial for the Bomalite tree spade.